Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I quickly explain to you how to disable Microsoft Defender on Windows 11. Although Microsoft Defender provides users with strong basic protection against malware, in addition to the fact that it is free and has become an integral part of the Windows system over the years, you will find that some users for one reason or another, they want to disable Microsoft Defender antivirus. When you disable Microsoft Defender in the traditional way, which is disabling real-time protection, after the first restart of the computer, Windows will enable real-time protection again, so if you want to disable Microsoft Defender permanently, and Windows does not enable it again automatically, you can disable Microsoft Defender using Group Policy Editor. This method is very good to disable it permanently. And to open the Group Policy Editor, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Then, type gpedit.msc and press Enter or click OK to launch the Group Policy Editor. After opening the Group Policy Editor window, in the red pane, click on Computer Configuration, and under it, Expand Administrative Templates. Under it, expand the Windows Components folder. Under it, find and open the Microsoft Defender Antivirus folder. Then, go to the other side, and double-click the option called, Turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Then, before selecting any option, you can read what each option does. You will find that if you select the Enable option, this will not run Microsoft Defender Antivirus, with the scan not running. That is, we will select the Enable option in order to disable Microsoft Defender Antivirus. After this step, you must restart your computer, in order to save the changes we made, to the Group Policy Editor. After restarting the computer, open Microsoft Defender Antivirus, then see if Real-Time Protection is disabled or not. You will actually find that Real-Time Protection has been disabled, and thus Microsoft Defender Antivirus is considered disabled and not working. If you want to enable Microsoft Defender Antivirus again, undo what we did in the Group Policy Editor. This method is simple and legitimate to disable Microsoft Defender Antivirus, and there is more than one other way to do that. I hope this simple video is useful to you, and thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.